Okay, so choosing the correct mask for your wilding processes and applications is massively important. The Speedmaster 2, it's our entry level mask, but it's still full of plenty of features. So it's an auto darkening mask with a, with a standard viewing area. It's great for MIG work, MMA, stick wilding, some basic TIG work as well, it'll handle fine. On the side is your shade adjustment, and that ranges from 9 to 13. It also has a grind mode feature, so when that's enabled, the mask will not darken, which is a shade five, so it's fixed at that. On the inside, you've got full sensitivity adjustment and delay adjustment. On the outside, you've got your two sensors, and there's your solar panel, which keeps your batteries topped up. Full headgear adjustment with a nice front padded area for your forehead. An upper size adjustment along with the rear, which just pushes in on a dial, and then adjust from left to right if you want it smaller or larger. A point worth mentioning is the dials on the side because these will adjust how much friction there is when you lift the mask up and down. You can have it really loose so it's always down. You can have it sort of in the middle so when you move your head and nod it, it will fall down nicely. Or you can have it where you have to physically move it up and down. It's personal preference, it's whatever works for you. So it comes fitted with an outer and inner lens and these protect the actual auto darkening filter itself. You also get one of each spare in the box along with the owner's manual. So we'll just quickly run through how you change the lenses. It's really simple. The front one, you just pop him out, like so. And with your new one, it just slides into one side, give him a little bend, and then he pops. On the inner, it's a similar scenario. You've got a little divot for your finger at the top. Just get behind there, and pop out your filter, and then reverse that to place a new one in. So this is vital protection for the actual darkening filter itself from spatter or casual debris. And you want to change them fairly often because then you'll still be able to see exactly what you're doing. So there it is, our auto darkening Speedmaster 2. Still plenty of features, great value for money, just a good all rounder.